cower before me, Whiskers! Ah! ah. <laughs> Am I evil? I might be a little evil. <laughs>What's up guys and welcome back to Waltz of the Wizard. So with this being one of the more interactive and mysterious VR games out there, I've been getting a lot of comments from you guys with suggestions for things that I should try to do. Like for example, we have a skull and we have eyes, but can I give my skull eyes that don't look like a PlayStation controller? And now that I'm holding the two in my hands, I'm seeing a bit of a size discrepancy, which I may have a spell for. Hey, Igor, do you think I could borrow your eyes? Like, I'll probably give them back, no? Okay, then. <laughs> Don't go far. All right, there's a whole bunch of comments from people wanting to screw with you. <laughs> Would have saved me a whole lot of hocus pocus razzmatazz, but we've got miniature eyes and super size. I don't think turning the eyes into frogs or the skull into butterflies is really going to help our case. So, do we want smaller eyes or a bigger skull? Probably a bigger skull, right? I feel like that would work. Ah, oh, crap. A wizard once became annoyed at catching two small fish. So he made a potion that would make them bigger on his dish. You would have saved me one more poem, too. I don't suppose you wrote fortune cookies in another life, did you? or your one life, I suppose. I won't pretend to know you. <laughs> Boop! Okay, hold on, big guy. There we go. You just hang out right there. That might be a little too big. Do we have, like, a medium eyes? <laughs> Middle ground eyes? I mean, these hands are wonderful. They make me feel like Sailor Moon, but I, I guess we'll just have to work with what we've got. I'm starting to think that the comments and the world's greatest VR wizard didn't think this through. <laughs> An eye from a cyclops. Weird. So when a pink hand touches you, you also go through puberty? Who would have guessed? What do you guys think? Close enough? I, 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 I want to say, I want to say, close enough. Close enough, that'll have to do. I've got one last ditch effort because I can change size not only by magic, but also by potions. So maybe my little potion can make this eye smaller? Do you have anything to say about these? No? What's the good of you? <laughs> Come on, get smaller. No, that doesn't seem to be doing anything except for maybe dissolving it. Oh God, you don't want to know what a burning eye smells like. <laughs> How about you? Can you have any? No, all for me, I suppose. Well then, that's the underside of my workbench. <laughs> Anything interesting going on down here? What the hell is that? Well, there's another chess piece. That's something else that people were saying. I should try to assemble the entire chessboard, which seems real monotonous, but I might get to that. I have no idea what those are, though. They kind of look like one of my ingredients, but black, right? What else have we got down here? Some globes? Wait, will those- Whoa. Will those bring me somewhere? They might be travel globes. Hold on, there's a whole bunch of crap down here. Yeah, you see, that's what I was talking about. The emeralds, right? Emeralds? Talk to me, Skull. Emeralds. An emerald from the hidden valleys of Umbria. It was an emerald. There's nothing now. It just exploded in my hand. But there's also this. Which doesn't quite look like an emerald. And... Seems to have a hook. Go away! Okay, do you have any idea how gross giant breath smells in this tiny little tower? God, go get an inhaler or something, you sick, twisted bastard. <laughs> what is this? Oh my god, what is the use of you? If this really is a secret ingredient, it would unlock like half a dozen more spells, right? There's no place for them, but... I'll create it. I'm really trying here, okay? <laughs> so, it's not an ingredient, but I can interact with it. I can't eat it. Can I shoot it? What if I do a little... I can shoot it, but that doesn't really do anything. 
<laughs> what is the point of this? I need to know. We also had these under my table, and I had kind of hoped they would be teleportation globes, but they're not giving me any keys to play on the interdimensional xylophone. Right? Normally, I would pick something up, and it would tell me what to play. Huh. I don't suppose there's a base around here, is there? I, I can't quite see what that would be, and let me guess. You got nothing to say. What is going on with my hand over there? <laughs> I need to take some kind of little wizard pill. I honestly don't know why any of you thought this might work. He doesn't have lips. I know you got the hardcore tattoos and the badass attitudes, but five bucks says you're Hufflepuff. Okay, there's no way you're Slytherin, but there's only one way of finding out for sure. Really? You're a head and you cannot wear a hat. <laughs> Go get <laughs> Igor for me, would you? I, I gotta try the hat on him after I try it on myself? Eh? Okay. Well, I can wear it. But it doesn't seem to be saying anything. <laughs> What's the matter? Copyright got your tongue? Don't worry, Igor. I used a quick little abracadabra to duplicate the hat. That way you get one and I can still tip one to my ladies. Here you go, bud. You just, uh... Ooh. Oh, he's fine. Okay, can you see if this fits? Just just let me know. If you saw the last video, do you remember how I made a joke about how I drink the giant potion to reach things on the hard-to-reach shelf? Well, that wasn't necessarily a joke. There's no freaking way for me to get that birdcage, so I guess we're just gonna have to do a little something like this, and there we go. <laughs> Anybody home? Yeah, you see, there is something in there. I just can't see what. At least not yet. There may or may not be something in this thing as well. Yeah, a lot of my wall decorations scream in agony when you hit them. Don't ask questions. So a lot of people had the idea, if I can't see what's in the birdcage, then maybe a bottle of sight will allow me to. Whether it be pouring it on whatever's in there... No luck. Not these potions seem to be for wizards only. And if I drink it, then we get that delicious 80s feel again. But nothing. Absolutely nothing. And once again, you don't have anything to chime in about? No? You'll tell me what an eye is, but you won't tell me what's in the screaming and visit cage? Okay, great. So pretty much none of that worked, and I have to accept partial responsibility for that. Are you, like, charging or something right now? Why do you keep doing this? <laughs> Either way, I'm also pretty sure that if I shoot some of my paintings... I wasn't joking when I said all my wall art yells. It, it's really weird. <gasps> okay, that would be a spell rather than the soul of... What I can only assume is Trogdor's cousin? <laughs> what about behind me? What do you got? Okay, bit of a predator fart. Yeah, that adds up. Uh, pretty sure all these are spells as well. Uh, I think that was Come On Barbie, Let's Go Party and Demonic? <laughs> Interesting. You're quiet. And you're quiet. Okay, then. Well, we, uh, learned a thing or two here today. <gasps> Whole lot of wall art and fart jars. Ooh. Bird fart jars. Cool. Uh, what's that? Here are you. Oop, oh, oh, sh shit, it's bouncy. Uh, hey, could you get, could, oh, it's coming to me. I, uh, I, uh, you could have caught it. Don't, don't laugh at me. I can barely open and close my hands. Where'd it go? Okay, we'll get to the phoenix egg another time, I suppose. I really need to brew up a potion or else people are going to be pissed at me. Um, let's start with some of this. We haven't done a whole lot of you. You've already mixed those ingredients. You should try something different. Or we've used that entirely. I, I thought we hadn't used it a lot. Really? It's so damp in here, and it smells like a village? Have you been eating a village again? 
<laughs> go away! God damn it, man. Having friends is so difficult. How about this one? Have we used that one? Good. We use that and a uh, little you and some of this. There we go. There's the spell. Yeah, you take that to the bank. Many men have dreamt of having its destructive power grow a fire in your hand and destroy your tower. <laughs> oh, don't you worry. I'll destroy something all right. <laughs> Been waiting for this for quite a while. <laughs> well then, cremation it is. I made Lord Stanley to catch many different things. Mainly mice, but he's still doing a piss poor job at that. But I'm curious, can he catch a fireball? He can catch it on the chest. I suppose that counts for something. Hey, 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 where, where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going? Hold on, it's, I'm gonna have to get point blank with this, aren't I? Let's pause the mouse barbecue for just a second, okay? If this is a phoenix egg, and I can make fireballs, then I should be able to hatch myself a phoenix here, shouldn't I? No? I feel like that was a really good train of thought, but apparently not. Maybe I need two hands? A little something like this? This is what happens when you order phoenix eggs from China on eBay. Cower before me, whiskers! Ah! ah. <laughs> Am I evil? I might be a little evil. <laughs> oh my god, I think that might have been the most genuinely funny thing that's happened to me in a video game in a very long time. Okay, I should probably get rid of these, right? You were saying destroy the castle, so on, so forth, so... We'll just wipe our hands of that. Yeah, that's how you deal with a mouse. What the hell is this thing made of? All right, well, this place looks like it was hit by a tornado full of elephants. <laughs> but I should be able to still work my magic, right? A little you and a uh, little you. And you haven't broken yet, so something like that. We'll just put the whole thing in, why not? Nice try. Oh no, I didn't just try. What? I, I don't get a poem this time? Oh really? Come on now! <laughs> this is a ripoff, get over Grab here. Grab an object. Yeah, I know, I- Oh, wait a second. So now- <laughs> I forgot how this works. <laughs> so now you're just gonna perpetually whoop and whoop. I may have done something that a wizard wasn't supposed to do. And I don't mean animate the skull to look like it's BJing Lord Stanley, no. I mean that I think I have him perpetually throwing... nothing? Is he throwing nothing? <laughs> Whoops! I could definitely see a lot of possibilities with this magic. You know, it's not every day that your coinage comes to life and, uh... Freaks out in your pockets, but I think we're gonna have to get Skull out of that perpetual BJ. Yeah, let's see you sass me again. So if that one was a bird fart in a jar, then what exactly are you? Another bird fart in a jar. I really need to get Igor to organize this place. I have absolutely no idea what I do and don't have in here. I would like to see some of the things on my hard-to-reach shelf. Would you please all come down here? No, no, come, come down here. Down, and then not back up. Just, just down. Come on, come on. There we go. Come to wizard. That's what I'm talking. Will you stop getting thrown back up? Oh, it's a gong that I'm hearing. I thought it was Fred again. <laughs> I spoke too soon. Of course it will be Fred. Hey, Fred, could you imagine how much easier it would have been for the X-Men if Magneto only had control over barrels? <laughs> would have been much more limited in his abilities. <laughs> Man, I love this friggin' game. 
But you know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Waltz of the Wizard, guys. And as always, if you have any more ideas for stuff you want to see me do, leave them in the comments. I'm more than happy to screw around in this game. I just need more ideas. And it's kind of hard to see everything when you're playing. You're very laser focused on not only screwing around, but on the one thing in front of you. Whereas everything in your peripherals are kind of blurry or hazy or on fire. You know how it is being a wizard, but give me some ideas and I'll be sure to return for more soon. And thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.